They are like elastic bands that help to move the bones. They help you to bend your arm. The swollen part inside your upper arm is the muscles. So bones are covered with muscles and muscles are made up of bundles of fiber muscles. The muscles cause movement or we can say that they help us move. Without muscles, you wouldn't be able to open your mouth, speak, shake hands, walk, talk or move your food through your digestive system. There would be no smiling, blinking, breathing. You couldn't have moved anything inside or outside you. The fact is, without muscles, you won't even be alive for very long. Every muscle has or helps us in a particular movement. So children, like bones, there are different different kinds of muscles too. The type of muscle depends on whether the muscles are attached to the bones or not. Muscles which are attached to the bones are called as skeletal muscles. They are in our control. So also known as voluntary muscles. In voluntary muscles are the muscles which are not in our control like cardiac muscles and smooth muscles. Voluntary muscles are the ones that we control. Most of them help us to move our bones around. If you want to run, walk, ride a bike, wave your arms around or even eat your favorite sandwich, it is your voluntary muscles which move your arms, legs and body around. But they cannot do that unless your brain sends right message to the right muscle. Do you have to think about making your intestine and stomach digest the food? Or do you have to remind your lungs to help you to keep inhaling and exhaling air? No, the movement of these muscles are not controlled by us. They know their job and they keep on doing it in the right way. These are called as involuntary muscles which are present in the internal organs like the stomach, intestine etc. They are not attached to any bone. They do not have stripes and hence are called as smooth muscles. But children, have you ever wondered what has actually happened to you when you were feeling cold or sometime if you have got scared? The tiny muscles at the bottom of the hair on your arms make your hair stand up when you are cold or you suddenly feel scared. And what about the muscles of our heart? They also keep working by themselves and cannot be controlled by us. They work non-stop, pumping blood through the entire body. These are striped and branched muscles. These are known as cardiac muscles. These muscles need continuous supply of energy as they work without rest. In a nutshell, the muscles can be divided into two categories, voluntary and involuntary muscles. Again, the voluntary muscles are of two types, cardiac that is heart muscle which are striped and branched and smooth muscles like those which are there in our stomach, intestines, they do not have any stripes. So how are the muscles joined to the bones? Wondering again if there is a glue which is used? The muscles are attached to the bones by strong fibers called as tendons. Every time you walk, settle into a chair, hug your mother, you are using your bones, muscles and joints.
without these important body parts we wouldn't be able to stand run or even sit down since bones and muscles are so important it is very important that you take care of them very well we should take healthy diet the bones are made up of calcium and phosphorus the bones get brittle meaning they break very easily if there is a lack of calcium and phosphorus in our food diet so we should eat food like milk vegetables fruits eggs to ensure that our bones are healthy sun rays in the morning and evening are also good for the bones the muscles are made up of proteins so take diet which has milk products fish and meat this diet makes muscles strong and healthy also exercising regularly having a good posture while sitting standing or walking is equally important also we should take proper rest rest helps us to come back rejuvenated re-energized when we get up from sleep so children let's have some fun now do you know which is the longest bone in our body it is the thigh bone which is also known as femur now which is the smallest bone in our body think think i think so you just heard about it yes the smallest bone is the steps which is present in our ear now tell me which is the strongest muscle the strongest muscle in the body is the tongue surprising isn't it you must have never thought or spoken about it which is the busiest muscle now maybe you can think and look at it you got my clue eye muscles are the busiest muscles in our body scientists have estimated that they move more than 1 lakh times in a day alone isn't that a lot of times children now let me tell you a funny joke on the body parts a man asks chatur chatur where were you born chatur answers i was born in india the man asks again which part chatur says why are you asking part part my whole body was born in india <laughs> So children on that funny note we take a leave from you we hope you have understood and enjoyed today's lesson bye bye